is a Friday evening haul. It's a small haul. But I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm excited. I don't look excited, right? Let me move. I got me a sample of the new Urban Decay uh, foundation. Looks like that. I guess I'll take and mess around with these and see which color, if my shade is on here, whatever. I also got a free gift all-nighter long-lasting makeup set setting spray i actually sprayed this on my face while i was on the road but obviously it did nothing for the situation throughout here so whatever okay and by the way if you didn't guess it's an ulta haul you have a little orange bag um they have a few brands that they're doing 40% uh, off, some are 30%, some are 25% off. I picked up the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I tend to like most of CoverGirl's mascara, so I grabbed this one. I think it was $6 and change. Um... I also picked up my first butter bronzer. This one is called Endless Summer. This is on sale as well, 40% off of uh, some of the Physician's Formula products. I did see a palette there by, who was it? I don't remember the name of the girl. Anyway, I thought the thing said $9.99 for the palette. I thought the palette was on clearance, but it wasn't on clearance. So when they checked the price, it was ringing for $19.99. I'm like, eh, nah. So I chose this because I really wanted to try it. There is a golden one that I had it swatched on my hand, but it's long gone. And I was going to get that, but it's just a golden highlighter in the form of a bronzer. They're calling it a bronzer. But it really swatched as a highlighter on me and darker skin tones it would definitely be a highlighter unless you like that glowy cheek look and have your cheek look golden but that's not my look so yeah anyway really wanted to try the butter bronzer so I grabbed this one um what else did I pick up I got a lipstick from Maybelline the Superstay ink crayon this one this is number 55, Make It Happen. And I have gotten rid of most of my really dark fall lipsticks. So I figured that this one would be a good one to have. Even though I do have a few dark ones here from Kat Von D. And I think I have a few ABH ones and <clears throat> somebody else. But anyway, you get the message. You get the drift. I really like the formula of this Maybelline lippy so I grabbed this one let me just swatch it I like the point oh, it's not even too too dark I really like it look at that it's pretty huh so got that I also picked up a brush a more another Morphe brush but this is a Morphe Jeffree Star brush in the JS9, it says the fluffier crease brush. This one. I have one. This one. I can't see that. This is the JS6. All right. And I really like this one. So I decided to try the fluffier one for when you want to kind of, you know, blow out the crease color, like make it nice and, you know, yeah. So I figured. I would try this. And for the Pia Resistance, the guy, the girl I went for, the Naked Honey. Most, I think most of y'all that watch me probably figured I would go for the Naked Honey palette. Now, in Ulta, you get the setting spray 
and a sample of the foundation as free gifts with the palette. Um, my girlfriend went to Sephora and she got the palette, but she got a pretty B keychain that went with it. I asked about the keychain when I went to Ulta, but they were like, no, we only have these as free gifts. Okay, that's fine. Guess what? All of these things that I purchased, I only spent $16 out of pocket. <laughs> so there's that. I think everybody and their mother already know what the palette looks like, but I'm just gonna show you anyway, just in case. In case you're new, you don't watch PR videos and you wanna hear about it from someone else. So this is the palette. I did swatch the palette in store and uh, I like the warm tones that are in here. There's a double-sided brush. Can Urban Decay please stop making these? Give us an eyeliner or um, just one side of the brush, pick a side. We don't care if it's a shader or a blender, just pick one side and give it to us. We will be good, but we just kind of don't like these double ended brushes like seriously anyway so that is it and that is the end of my haul so yeah i just had to the box is so pretty shall i keep the box i may keep the box do i want to keep the box maybe maybe not but the packaging is super duper amazing and yeah i really tend to go for these palettes most of all i was tempted to pick up the jackie Anna palette i had it in the bag because i would have had enough money to cover both had i you know gone for it but when keith swatched them and stuff i was like eh. he's like okay okay because he thought i would have more fun with the jackie Anna palette but I was more drawn to this one. And I was like, eh, eh. He was like, okay, that's clear. Let's put away this one because you're clearly not impressed. So it was this. Yeah. If I get a 20% off coupon anytime soon for prestige items, I may get the Jackie Aina palette. But until then, no bueno. Nope, 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 nope. Anyway. That, my lovelies, is the end of my haul. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and share the video. Um, if you don't like the video, the other button works as well. So, hey. <laughs> Until the next one, enough love, walk good, and be kind to each other. Bye-bye, guys.